everybody, my name is Jo and I'd like to welcome you back to week three of Learning Together. You'll notice that Carlo isn't here yet and I'm not sure why. I've been watching out the window and I've noticed that his family have been really busy over the weekend. His car's been going in and out of the driveway. So I'm actually wondering if he's still asleep. I might call out to him. Remember, he lives just next door. Carlo! Carlo! Carlo, are you ready? We're waiting for you. I'll just go get him. Well, good morning, Carlo. I noticed Carlo's brought his backpack with him again today. And I've noticed that it's very full, but actually today it is really light. So I'm curious about what's inside. Have you noticed something different about Carlo today? Good morning, Carlo. I'm a little bit curious about why you're wearing a hat today. And I'm sure the children at home are wondering what this badge is on the front of your shirt. Can you have a close look? It says trainee. It means it's when someone's learning to do something new. I wonder what this is all about. We might pop you back in your seat, Carlo, and hopefully there's a message from his family in his communication book. Oh, I have to dig down deep because he's bought his communication book today mm. and he's bought his mathematical recording book and he's bought some other things but I'm not going to show you that yet. Day 11, Dear Joe and Children, on the weekend we visited the conservation park in the hills with Carlo. Do you know what a conservation park is? And can you guess what lives in a conservation park? Carlo was telling the park ranger about all the work he has been doing in these mathematical lessons. He said, I've been sorting animals and I've been making sure that they are safe and can roam in open spaces. Do you know, the park ranger was so impressed. He invited Carlo to be a trainee park ranger. But he said this to Carlo. Carlo, you need to be prepared. You need to practice your skills, your mathematical skills. He gave Carlo a list of tasks to practice. We are hoping you'll be able to help him today. Thank you so much from Carlo's family. Wow, sounds like we've got lots of work to do, Carlo, to help prepare you for your traineeship at the conservation park. We'd better get started. I'm hoping you've brought something along to help us today. Let's check Carlo's bag. Hmm, help me count. One, two, three, four, stuffed animals and a paper bag of something. Can you help me read the note on the board so we know what to do? Make a group of four. Check four, four. Because the message says no more than four and no 
less. Wow. We're going to practice some of the strategies we learnt last week. Can you remember the first strategy? It was touching each animal as we counted it. Can you help me? One, two, three, four. We learned a second strategy and that, can you remember what that was? That's right, it was sliding the objects across. So can you help me again? Let's check for four. One, two, three, four. Now we need to be sure that we have no more than four and no less. Can you watch carefully? I'm going to move the creatures all into a close circle together. Now the group looks smaller. Have we changed the number of objects in that group? Let's count. One, two, three, four. Remember last week we said the last number we say tells us how many objects are in that group. So even though we've made that group smaller, we haven't changed the number of objects in the group. I wonder what happens if we spread them out. The line is much longer now, but have we changed the number of objects in the group? Help me count, we're going to slide them forward this time. One, two, three, four. Even though the line is longer, there are no more or no less than four in that group. We didn't add any in, did we? We didn't take any away. So I'm pretty sure we've done a good job of checking for four. I hope you're listening, Carlo. So now we've got our group of four. We're going to slide these animals back. We're sure we've got four. We're going to check what is in Carlo's paper bag that he had tucked away in his backpack. A large group of objects. I'll tip them out carefully. Okay, do you remember the first week we met? We did a really good job of sorting things from one large group into smaller groups. Let's have a go at that today. Let's put all the sausages together in one group. Mmm. Let's put all the lollipops together in another group. And let's put all the pieces of chocolate together in another group. And I can see there's a small stack of cups. Not sure how many, because one's stacked on top of the other, but let's put them together in a group. And actually, let's put all the current buns together in a group as well. Right, what do we have to do? Share the food evenly. So that means that each animal should get the same amount of, let's start with sausages. There are four animals, so we need four sausages. Let's give this a go. One for the monkey, one for the giraffe, one for the possum, and one for the panda. I've shared them evenly. There is enough sausages for every animal in this group. Mm. Slide those lollipops across and the chocolate 
and the cups. Let's share the current buns out now. One for the monkey, can you help me? One for the giraffe. One for the possum. One for the panda. And we have one left over. I'm going to put that to the side. So we have got too many current buns. Each animal has a current bun, but we've got one left over. Let's check how many cups we've got. We've got one for the monkey, one for the giraffe, and one for the possum, but we don't have one for the panda. So it seems like we've got too few cups. Let's try the chocolate. Can you help me again? One for the monkey, one for the giraffe, one for the possum, one for the panda, and we have one left over. So we've got too many pieces of chocolate. Let's try the lollipops last. Help me again. One for the monkey. A yellow one for the giraffe. A green lollipop for the possum and a green lollipop for the panda. We have enough lollipops for each animal in this group. Fantastic! Can you help me practice this really important language? Carlo's listening very carefully. We're going to practice by saying, I have enough sausages. I have too few cups and I have too many pieces of chocolate. Let's check. I have enough sausages. I have a, I have too many current buns. I have too few cups. I have mm, too many pieces of chocolate. I have enough lollipops. How can we report that information, Carlo, back to the park ranger? Because this is a really important part of your training. Can you help me? We might have to draw this. I have enough, what did you say? Sausages. I have enough, you're right, lollipops. I have too few. What did we have too few of? You're right, the cups. That's a hard picture to draw. Hmm. I have too many, we had too many current buns and we had too many pieces of chocolate. Draw the current bun at the bottom 
and the piece of chocolate. Okay, Carlo. That report is ready for you to take back to the park ranger. I think he's going to be really impressed with your sorting and your sharing today. We might pop all these items back in Carlo's bag and I'll make sure I include the report. And then we're going to sing a song that will help Carlo understand how to share things evenly amongst a group of four animals. Are you ready, Carlo? See if you can help me to sing. Put one current bun, two, three, four. Enough for every creature in our group. Four current buns in the baker's shop, round and fat with some sugar on the top. Along came giraffe with the dollar one day. He bought a current bun and he took it right away. Whoa, one of our creatures has a current bun, so I hope there's enough left for the other three. Are you ready? Three current buns in the baker's shop, round and fat with some sugar on the top. Along came monkey with a dollar one day. He bought a currant bun and he took it right away. Two creatures left. Are you ready? Two currant buns in the baker's shop, round and fat with some sugar on the top. Along came possum with a dollar one day. He bought a currant bun and he took it right away. One bun. I think they're going to be right. Are you ready? One currant bun in the baker's shop, round and fat with some sugar on the top. Along came Panda with a dollar one day. He bought a currant bun and he took it right away. So the baker's shop had enough currant buns for all the creatures in our group. Let's talk about what we learned today. We learned some really important language. We learned about the importance of words like enough, too few, and too many. We learned some great strategies for checking for the number four. Can you remember what they were? Touching each creature, sliding, pushing them all together into a tiny bundle, stretching them apart. Remember, the last number we say tells us how many in that group. And if we don't put any more in, and we don't take any out, then we don't change the number in the group. Your job today is to create your own group of four and make sure you check for four. You might use teddies, you might use dolls, you might use cars, anything else you can find around your house and collect a group of items and see if you can share them evenly amongst that group. If you find you've got too many, you can practice by saying, I have too many pieces of chocolate for my group of four. If you find you haven't got enough, you could practice by saying, I have too few cups for my group of four. If you have enough, you're going to use that language and say, I have enough current buns for every member of my group. We look forward to hearing about your work tomorrow. Thanks for helping Carlo on his very first day as a trainee park ranger. We hope you'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for joining us. Bye.